Okay, so there's a little experiment that I wanted to do today. I printed these uh, keycaps in my new profile. Uh, it is row three. This is just for fun. None of these are, of course, the, 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 um, the final font that will be actually used. But I wanted to try to do some homemade uh, double shot keycap and I wanted to see if I was able to, to reach a, a good result. So to do so, um, I've prepared some um, epoxy clay. It is a two parts um, uh, putty. And um, it is very soft and should fit very well inside the legend. So let's start with this one. Let's see how it turns out. It should be fairly easy. I just need to press the resin inside. And then remove the excess. repeat the process a couple of times maybe I will also have to wait for the resin to cure because it shrinks a little when curing so maybe I will have to to apply a second coat but let's see so at this point I'm taking a, a sponge that is used for makeup I add a little water and gently remove the excess oh my god it's so cute come on well, here we are. Oh my god, it's perfect. Look at this. Okay, since the black resin is slightly transparent, I'm going to try to paint the inside of the legend with black first and see if that helps with the final result. So now that I have a black background, I'm going to add some black resin. Now with a 2000 grit sandpaper, I'm trying to remove the excess. I mean, I would need to add another couple of layers of, of resin, but it's not bad, it's not bad at all. So this is 24 hours later, and as expected the epoxy putty um, shrunk a little. Uh, I mean, it, it's okay, it, it is, the legend is not flush with the top surface. Uh, it would be okay but uh, I want to try to make it better so I'm adding another layer of um, of clay I'm removing the 
removing the excess with water. This is it. We just have to wait another 24 hours or at least overnight and uh, it will be ready. Um, uh, it will shrink again but uh, I mean we can repeat another time if one wants it uh, completely flush with the, with the surface but I think this is pretty darn good as it is. So let's see what we can do with uh, this one. The legend is still very much recessed, so we have to add more uh, more resin. Let me remove a little bit of resin. Here we are. And let's see if I can clean it up with 2000 grit sandpaper. You know what, I will start with 1000 and then move up to 2000. A little wet. So I had to add two more layers of resin and sand all over again, but uh, I think that the end result is, is really, really good. It took longer and more work, but um, the keycap is, is ready, while uh, for this one we have to wait for the clay to completely cure. And so, there are two different techniques, they are both uh, valid and the result is, is stunning, if you ask me. If I had to make many keys, I would probably go with a, a clay technique, uh, but for one-off, this is probably better. The, the surface is very, very smooth and uh, uh, sending the the keycap also helps uh, remove the uh, the 3D printing imperfection. So this keycap is now perfect. Uh, you can of course do the same to this one, but it's even more work. Um, yeah, mm, hope you like this kind of content, and see you next time. Ciao.